Let It Be, Eleanor Rigby, Yesterday, and on and on and on. Is it possible that someone like Paul McCartney, who's had such a profound presence in our lives for so many years, can also have a secret passion, something we didn't know anything about? Well, tonight in New York at the Matthew Marks Gallery, there will be the first American exhibit ever of his paintings. And right now, we're going to bring you a small portion of a conversation I had with him yesterday about painting and about the way an old friend occasionally shows up in them here, there, and everywhere. Are you seeing paintings all day long? How do you and, mean, and, in my mind? Yeah, as you walk around, are you yeah. seeing the world? I and think so, a little bit. Possibilities, yeah. yeah? This is one of Linda's favorite pictures of mine. Um, so that's it, there's the Pintos. Can you see it? Did she ever say to you, don't like that one? Good. I did. Yeah. I, 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 there's some I didn't like. What I do is just paint over them. Yeah. Just wipe them out. Yeah. This, I woke up one morning. Uh, I woke up one morning. Do, 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 do. Um, you get an image sometimes. And uh, I saw, I got this image just when I woke up of like a sort of prison cell, which was all very black. And someone had kind of scratched with their fingers and in desperation just. <laughs> This thing, so I thought the three things scratched, and then this big thing appeared, and I have no idea. Leave you to guess what that is. It looks and vaguely sexual to me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I wouldn't know about that, of course. Exactly. But, yeah. No. But does anybody ever tell you that? Actually, s tell you something about a painting, and you say, "Yes, I see now. That is what it is." Um. No, no one well, can tell you yeah, anything you, know, you don't I, know. I, 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 your I've, unconscious... got my, I've got my own opinion of it. Yeah? Um, I like people to talk to me and say what they think. I just like the way that with just one line, there's a face. Mm. And that, it's, it's, it's actually a sculpture thing that I saw. And this is a brass Celtic thing. It looks like Charlie Watts out of the Rolling Stones to me. <laughs> this is John's room. It just looked to me like John when he had his long hair. And then his cloak or whatever this is. Then I just scratched in that. It looked like one of those drawings John used to do. Mm -hmm. You know, he's some funny little men. So then I call that John's room. If I'm going to see a face in a, in a painting, it, it's, it's highly likely to be his. Do you think of him during the day, or did this come? This is a, an <clears> unusual <throat> thing. I think of John a lot, yeah, because we were such good friends for so long. I also used to do little caricatures of his, him. It was quite easy to draw. This, long aquiline nose and the sort of glasses and he used to have big side sideburns as you call them sideboards as we call them um so i used to draw him quite a bit when we were just sitting around i'd, I'd do caricatures i remembered you saying that one time and i think it was after here there and everywhere mm. listen to it that he said to you I think I might like your songs better than mine. Well, it was that particular album, that song, and we'd listened to a side of the cassette, as it was then, when we were uh, in a ski resort. We were doing Help, and he and I were sharing a room. I think I'm gonna be sad. I think it's the day, yeah. We'd got our big heavy ski boots off, and we'd, you know, warming up for the day and a sort of evening drink. So it's a great moment. And we just had the cassette on of our new album, and here, there, and everywhere came on. And he just, very rare moment, you know, because John was uh, very, you know, liked what he did, as I liked what I did, and so he did, wouldn't uh, often say he preferred mine, so obviously I remember that. He said, you know, I think I, I like your song better than mine. I knew it meant a lot, you know, he's a very proud man. For him to actually say he liked my stuff better, that was, that was cool. And tonight on Primetime, we'll have more about painting, life, love, joy. Tonight at 10 o'clock, Eastern Time.